morning. It's uh, Saturday, August 31st. It's about 8.30. Um, I decided to come out and put up a different trail camera. I bought one yesterday. Uh, it's marked down. It's a muddy trail camera. I have no experience with muddy trail cameras. I'm a, I'm a stealth cam guy. I had some spy points in the past. Uh, didn't care so much for it. it. Just seemed to be kind of spotty with performance. But this muddy was marked down. It was a new camera, but it was marked down like 45% off. So I went ahead and picked it up. I'm gonna go put it out down here. But it's getting really close to season. Um, getting my bush hogging taken care of. As you can see, I've mowed off part of the field here. I've mowed the trails, so I've got the walking corridors. I'm probably going to leave it like this for the most part until uh, archery season starts to wrap up because this allows me to funnel the deer where I want them to go. As long as I keep the trails mowed off, you can see how high everything else is. That's, that's, uh, that's five months of growth. That's unbelievable. Five months of growth. And it gets... Now... That walnut tree obviously is not. That walnut tree, I drove around when I bush hogged it back in uh, uh, mid-March. So, uh, as you can see though, there's a lot of tall grass here. There's a lot of places. When I bush hog this, there are deer beds all through here. So, if I can keep the trails mowed off, see I've got a trail going right through the heart of it. I've got a trail that crosses it there. And then I'm going to walk down another trail I mowed down here. Uh, earlier this week those deer use these trails and I can set up over these trails and I can funnel these deer right past me and prior to season I can funnel them right past my trail cameras so I can get a good inventory of what I have here so let's see what we can find okay so I got the camera up here and as you can see trail right here. I'll show you the trail coming out of the pine thicket here in a minute. Leads out into this field I was just walking through where I've mowed a path through. And it crosses over to my other section of, of pine thicket on the other side of the field over there. It's a little crest in the hill here. And so normally I hunt over there and put all my cameras over there. But because the way the hill comes over and then dips down, I've got very limited sight distance for a camera. Over here, it's a lot flatter back in through the pine. This trail here, I mean, this is like a highway right through here. They cross here all the time. This is the uh, southern facing slope. So especially in the winter time, um, when, when you have the cold north wind coming over, this hillside gets the first sunlight. You know, it's last year I hunted here one day during, during I guess it was muzzleloader season when I missed that big buck. Um, I had 11 does, I think it was 11 does in, in this field right here, right in front of me all at one time. I've never had that here. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable and the deer use through here heavily. This is a funnel, this is a pinch point where there's houses on top, there's a road down below with houses on the other side. If the deer are going to walk out this hillside, they're going to cross right here because these two sections of pine thicket come to fingers right here. So this is the shortest distance between the two thickets, the, the pine thickets. So these deer just funnel right through here. I mean, it's a it's a fantastic ambush location. It took me a long time to find it because nobody hunted over here. This has been in the family for many years, but nobody hunted over here. We used to have cattle over here. It used to be maintained and mowed off um, two or three, four times a year. Well, then when I bought it, I said, I'm going to start managing it differently in the way that I wanted to. And so I let it grow up, and the deer, since I've let it grow up, they've just started hammering this. Obviously, there's a lot of browse in there, but they feel safe and secure with that high grass. They can bed in there. There's a lot of doe and fawning activity going on over here now. Uh, you know, this year I've got two does with fawns, two does with twins, I'm sorry. So I've got, you know, two adults and four, four little ones all living right here. I can take you to where they, where they bed almost every day. So, anyway... 
really excited to see what this camera pull uh, has whenever I come back and check it here uh, in, in probably three to four weeks from now. So, anyway, that's what we got for today. So, just another reference. Camera is just inside the woods back over there. This is the path that I've mowed off between the two sets of pines. As you can see, everything out here is really tall. My house is up here at the top, so uh, deer feel the deer are far enough away that they feel safe. That they come out here, they feed, they browse, they pass through here. So uh, it's it's a really good spot. It's just a during archery season, it's it's quite the sweaty endeavor. It's easy to come in. You can walk. It's all downhill to get down here. But then once you get down here, if you get something, it's uh. It's kind of rough getting it out of these pine thickets on the side of this hill. It's very challenging to bush hog in here. It's so steep. I'm, I'm usually holding on to the to the fender flare on one side of the tractor and leaning all the way over to the side because it's uh, it's extremely steep. I had a neighbor right behind me over here who several years ago they uh, they were doing the same thing and they rolled the tractor. They got pinned beneath the tractor, uh, leaked diesel out tractor caught on fire and they, they burned alive so it keeps me a little keeps me on edge when I'm when I'm out here on this hillside and obviously you know going straight up and down is a challenge as well because if you lose your brakes you're just going to take off all the way down the hill so usually I I go uh, diagonally uh, across it here so as you can this road that this road that I've mowed off here it kind of it curves around the hill and so normally when I bush hog I try to go diagonal that way I'm I'm not purely straight up and down and I'm not side hilling so I'm trying to minimize the risk by doing that anyway enough on that hope you all have a wonderful Labor Day weekend excellent hunting season if you're already out hunting and uh, best of luck and God bless <laughs>